welcome back so we have adjusted and now I can see it's a bit too big um, so and now we're gonna start pinching a bit make them a bit smaller more compact not too big but don't make it too square make sure it still looks organic kind of a cone-ish look but not too tight, okay? I will just use the, this one and again, you don't have to pin a hole there, sorry well, the only hole you might have to pin is the um, I'm just gonna place some glue here is the calyx and then we just attach the flower to it just like that and you would like to have something where you can place the flower I found this one somewhere in second hand shop a long time ago so and and I'm actually thinking of buying more of those because then I can just use them for making when I'm making arrangements um, I'm trying to, um, maybe I speak too soft now, but I am trying to sp speak a bit softer because I don't know if it's this is the right volume, but sometimes I tend to shout because it feels like your guys are so far away. <laughs> so we're just doing a bit of testing. And then you just taste there again and you attach the calyx. It's actually seems pretty fast when you're done. I'm just gonna make them flat, just like that. You see? And I'll be using the green floral tape now I we have had members that were new to this and had a hard time to attach them and then what you just do is you just use glue on the tip the glue stick I won't start all the way to the top because that's just gonna make it very hard so I'll just start there Okay, see? and then and I'll just wrap it a couple of times and then I will pull it up maybe it's time to put this away because it's back did you see what I did I attached it held it here and then I wrapped it a couple of times holding it while holding it tight and then I pulled it up that's it and then it will stick when you do it and then you're just gonna it might still move while you're doing this but then keep putting it up yeah that's what I do too and then you just have to keep holding tight use a bit of force to close the thing now I would be using this so I'm gonna attach my leaves there that's what I'm gonna do okay oh but I was gonna show how to if you would like to place them in a vase then I would suggest to use a whole wire a whole wire and to use three to four leaves
and you could also what I would do then is oops three to four leaves and then I would if you if you have a whole wire you could also attach a second one somewhere below just like this you see what I mean and then attach them together that's what you do when you want to place them in a vase Let's just pretend this is a very long wire because um, if you have seen this in um, real, this plant can actually get really, really high. So that's what we can, that's what you do if you want to place them in a vase. You'll attach one or two here, or three, I mean, you know, a bit lower. Make sure you do a first circle around it so you don't only point side you know, and then the other one you attach to here a bit lower. That's what you do. And also when you're using a contain let's pretend this is the vase, you have to place your wire and see where your wire sticks out and that's where you um Place your last uh, leaves because this is still paper. I'm just gonna place mine here, and the leaves is just whatever you know, whatever you feel like. What's this? And if you're having an issue with what I'm doing, then you can always use glue first. Place glue on the tip, attach it before you attach it. Yeah, what I did is actually attach it here, tip, and just wrap that. Mine is tight enough. I did secure it tight so it won't move. But you can always use glue. And again, use a bit of force. I think I'm pulling the tape here. while spinning them and you know it won't be pretty you still have this thing here but let's just control that then you secure it with glue me just end it and it won't ever come off again Just gently pull the leaves back. Give them a bit of curl with your fingers. Make them look organic. And that's it. Nothing special. And when you're using the box, um, be sure that your leaves, that when you're, you also, you, that you do not place the leaves all in one side. Because you also have to think that this has different kind of angles and you would like to place them, you know. So I made flowers um, keeping one side free so it's easier for me to place them in a container without the leaves being in the way. So when I stick this one in here, for example, the leaves will be here out, as you can see, you know. Not here, because that could make it better. You have those two. And you can do one without leaves. And those are for the center. You will notice. One or two. And to make them a bit look natural. Not so straight. I'll just bending them a bit. Like that. And if you do not trust your thingy, then you can use glue stick there you go and now something new and we're gonna I'm gonna show how to create the bag how to create how to put the bag together So it's pretty fast. 
um, this was a sample. This was my prototype. This was a sample. And I thought it was, you know, just a waste to throw them away. So I just said, well, you know, you can, I'm just, um, how do you call that? Gonna use it for the tutorial, so I won't be wasting paper. And I can always use it. I can cover this up by placing a big flower in front of it. You won't see it in here. What I also would recommend is, as you can see, I have placed a foam here. Um, if you do not mind that this, if you want to place foam, I would suggest to cut a piece of paper and uh, glue the back here. So you will have this effect that there is, you know, I chose for a plum color. But you don't have to, obviously. You can also just, if you don't want to use foam for display and you just want to give it like this and then they can put it in a vase, you know, if if they want to, um, then you don't have to cover the, the whole. You could also um, uh, still adjust, I think, and um, create your own um create your own bag by using the initials or um the uh i don't know something with vanilla like thank you or yeah. so i'm just gonna use a ruler and we're going from here to here to to crease. Oh wait, this is the front and the back. I'm sorry, make sure you have it right. This is the back of my paper. This is going to be the inner side. And here again, the same. This crease. Here. this one is free is because this is my first well first ever released but what first I've created it's a simple design you know but you have to start somewhere you know I have to learn too and the more I practice the more I don't know we'll see in the future how it goes This is my premiere and my gift. So I think we have creased almost everything now. And what we'd like to do as well is fold this in half. Just like that. Um, I'm using Conquer Artist Paper. This is like a 90 LB. And I actually love this color. And I only have... <gasps> this is the last. My provider. The paper supplier. I need to just fold them. Okay, so I'll fold them back. My paper supplier won't have them anymore, so... Actually, did keep it for something special. Like really special. You do the same on this side. Pull that. But I, do not, I did not have... Um, and then crease it here again. The other side, 
uh, but I did not have um, 12 by 12 paper. This was the only one that was um, cut that way. Um, at that time, I did went to get out to get to buy some, and I also need to order a larger cutting mat. But then I had this great tip from one of the member Margie is that when you do not have this big huge cutting mat you can um, attach two of those short ones 12 by 12 ones together with tape so I think that was a brilliant idea. I haven't tried it yet but I sure will do I'll ju I'm just very curious how it will cut because I feel like yeah, we'll have bumps or not. I don't know. We'll have to. I just have to experiment. So we have made a crease, and now we're gonna attach them. The fun can begin. Start here. I'm using tacky glue. Just place it here. And I will use this cotton pad or to spread the glue so my hands won't get too dirty. I do have wet wipes, but here just like that the whole thing there. again um this was a sample guys so the cut is not perfect and but it was just for the tutorial, you know, better use it for something than, rather than try to make a nice paper. Now we do have this recycling bin, uh, yeah, especially for paper here in the Netherlands and uh, other Western countries, West European and North can have those too. It's a special container just for paper and gets picked up like once a month. So we don't throw paper in the bin. Separate everything is separated. Plastic, food, paper, cans. Well, cans they do that in Germany, but they don't do that here yet. In Germany, they have even um, refunds for the cans, like 10, 20 cents or something. And what I do, I see the glue is dry here now. I do is um, just attaching them. So I think it's good that our government is thinking about um, the environment. Oops. Plastic straws are not being sold here anymore. It was actually here, but to start in the next year I believe but the grocery stores the supermarket stopped selling them okay, 
seen here. And you know, this is so fun. I thought, you know, why not just do something different?